Welcome to this snip where I'll show you how to create a Windows 2016 server image for Azure using Packer. We need the following, an Azure subscription, a service principal, I already have one created. See the following tech snip, how to create and authenticate to Azure with a service principal using PowerShell, if you're unsure how to create one. We also need to download and install Packer. The details of our image is contained in a JSON file, which Packer will use to create the image from. In the file, we have the following, builders and provisioners. Builders are components of Packer that are able to create a machine image for a single platform. Builders read in some of configuration and use that to run and generate a machine image. Provisioners are components of Packer that install and configure software within a running machine prior to that machine being turned into a static image. As part of provisioning this VM, we have deployed IIS and also run sysprep. We can use this to test the image later. So during the build process, Packer creates temporary Azure resources as it builds a source VM to capture that source VM for use as an image. You must define a resource group. Output from the Packer build process is stored in this resource group. So to start, we need to have a look at our details that are contained in our service principle. We can see the service principle names, which is Azure Packer, application ID, display name, ID and type, which is the service principle. We need to copy some details from the service principle and also the subscription over to the JSON file. You'll see here the application ID .guid, which is the client ID. And then we've put in the client secret and then the object ID. In the JSON file, you'll see the object ID. Then we need to take details from our Azure subscription, the tenant ID and the subscription ID, and also place these in the JSON file. I will just confirm that I have a group already created and we have snip res group. So to build the actual image, we run packer.exe with the parameter build and then point it at the file we created, windows.json. You will see during the build process that a temporary resource group has been created by Packer. You'll see now that during the provisioning that PowerShell has added the features that we requested in the JSON file. At the moment, we are just waiting for Packer to finish. Now that Packer has finished, you'll see that we have an image located in the SNP res group in our image location as UK South. This process can take between 10 and 15 minutes. So now we can use that image and create a new VM using the command new Azure RM VM. We'll put this VM in the SNP res group. We'll call it server one. Location is UK South. The virtual network name, SNP VNet, subnet, SNP subnet, security group, IP address. Open port, we'll keep port open 80. So later in the process, when we started the VM up, we can connect to IIS. And then you'll see the parameter dash image which has the image that we've just created. We'll add our username and then the password for the VM. Now this request will go away and build this VM for us. Again, it can take a few minutes for this process to complete. Now you'll see our VM has been successfully created. So the next step will be to retrieve the public IP address and then we can test connection to IIS which has been deployed onto this virtual machine. Now we'll launch a session with Firefox with that IP address to view the home page on IIS on that VM. And there we have an image created in Windows Server 2016 in Azure. Thank you for watching this snip.